quickly through this. Um, what you want to do, let's take this example here. Let's do uh, sulfur hexafluoride. Now, the first thing I, I want to tell you a couple things when we're drawing these. One, as far as we're concerned, there will uh, never be double or triple bonds for this, for expanded octet stuff. And two, uh, you will recognize these as being expanded octet structures when you have too many electrons to, uh, to go around normally. So when you have too many electrons, you have an expanded octet. Wow, I hate Andrew. Um, so there you go. And I'm going quickly because the class is almost over. Now, the way this is going to work, drawing these are, is actually easier, I think, than doing real Lewis dot structures or real the ones that we've been doing. Because you don't have to worry about double or triple bonds. So all you have to do is just you know write your stuff in and create the structure and you're done. So let's find valence electrons first. Sulfur has six. Fluorine has seven. How many fluorines do we have? Six. Six. So you do all that. Forty-eight. So you're going to draw your skeleton structure out. Very simple. You know S is going to be in the middle, right? We know that. You look at it, it's obviously going to be an expanded octet because, well, you've got six fluorines to attach to it, so it's going to be expanded. Now, I don't care about the exact arrangement here, okay? I really don't. It's sort of up to you how you would like to arrange them. That's semi-close to the way it actually looks. Symmetrical is usually the best way to go. Now, how many electrons did I just put in? 12. Yep, 48 minus 12 gives us 36. That's the point, though. It's expanded. It can handle that because what it's doing, it's taking those Ds and it's putting the electrons in there. Also more than eight. That's, that's, that's why we care about the, the expanded hybridization because now you look at this, you see that it's uh, sp3d2 and it's got that, that's, that's, that's why we did that. So now you see where the electrons are going. That's all you would write with the sp3d2? Well, that's the hybridization. Is that's that your answer? No, no, that's just me answering his question. Now, to finish, We've got 36 electrons left to put in. How many spots for electrons do I have on F? Three. three. What? Where'd you people get three? Six. Each F has six spots left. Oh, well, for, for pairs? Yeah, I got you. Okay. So if you actually were to count how many dots I'm putting in here, it's 36. Which just works out perfectly to zero. Yeah, it always does that. It always ends up to zero. Well, or sort of. Sometimes you got to put electrons in the central atom, which we're not going to get to that. What? If this confused you, don't worry about that right now. This is what I care about at this exact moment. Now, the way it works, you're this. You're done now. This is the structure. All the fluorines have eight. Sulfur has 12, which it's expanded. That's totally cool. Don't worry about it. You have no electrons left to put over. Now, if we had more electrons left over, like if we had two, you would just add them to the central atom, which I will show you an example of tomorrow. Just looking at two more. Wait, sorry. 